Jimmy. Did you know that eggs sink in water? You probably know this from watching them boiling in a pot on the stove, right? But yeah, you drop an egg into water and it will sink right to the bottom. Well, in this video, we're going to do a science experiment that will make this egg float on the top of this water. Then, we're going to make it stay submerged about halfway down, just free floating in the middle. You can totally do this experiment at home. The secret is salt. So first, let's see what the egg does in just regular water. Yeah, it just sinks right to the bottom. So now, we're going to add some salt. Let's get that egg out of there first. All right, just a little bit at first. Okay, give it a stir. Okay, try it again. Still not enough salt. So we'll add a little bit more, a little bit more. Keep stirring. You want to make sure that all of the salt is dissolved off of the bottom. There, it's floating. <laughs> all right, now, did you notice that I didn't fill the vase all the way to the top? That's because next I'm going to pour some fresh water on top of it and see what happens. So pour it down so that the stream flows onto the egg and doesn't mix with the salt water too much. Isn't that cool? That's pretty cool, just floating in the middle. <laughs> so how does adding salt make the egg float? A salt crystal is made up of two things, sodium ions and chloride ions. When water molecules come into contact with the salt crystals, they pull apart the sodium and chloride ions, making the salt crystals dissolve. Once the salt is dissolved, it actually adds to the mass of the water, making it denser than fresh water, and also denser than the egg itself. That's how the egg is able to stay afloat. That's also how a helium balloon is able to float in air. Air is denser than helium, so the balloon floats. When you pour the fresh water on top of the salt water, the fresh water actually stays floating on top of the salt water. But since the egg sinks in fresh water, but floats in salt water, it finds that spot right in between the two and just hangs out. Hey, try this experiment yourself. It's pretty cool. Maybe you can find some other things besides eggs that will float in salt water, but sink in fresh water. If you do discover more things, I'd love to hear about it. So share your findings in the comments.